Yeah, this is The Nation. I'm Jared Rutnam. Thank you very much for joining us on the morning of Diwali, Diwali Vatakal, to all of you from all of us here at Brinama TV. Of course, at The Nation this morning, uh, what we're not going to talk about is Diwali, but we're going to be talking to someone who celebrates Diwali, and he's uh, taken his time, or rather time, away from his family to be with us this morning to give us some information about the Intelligence Society of Malaysia right here at the nation. So uh, joining me in the studio is Elon. He's the founder and also uh, one of the lead guys at uh, ISOM or the Intelligence Society of Malaysia. A uh, very good morning to you, Tiwali. Hi, good morning. And uh, thank you very yeah. much for uh, joining yeah. us. It's uh, great to have you here on the show. It's a pleasure. And well, uh, I've read a lot about what you've done, uh, about uh, you training a lot of people. Okay. And uh, for me, when it comes to NLP, when it comes to all these things that are being talked about, it's very questionable for me. Yeah, it's very easy to say that the step one, step two, step three. But what people don't teach you is the discipline in order to carry out the steps uh, properly. But before we get into all that, okay. let's just find out who um, Elon is. So uh, basically, well, what what stands out in your CV is that you are part of uh, what do you call it? Uh, Intelligence Society of Malaysia. Yeah. Intelligence Society of Malaysia, a member of the traditional complementary medicine or TCM. Exactly. Now, how did you become a member of complementary medicine? All right, um, just uh, to say, my name is Ilan Gomez mm -hmm. you can call me Ilan. Yeah. And uh, right. TCM, yeah, uh, means uh, we need to know a little bit on uh, uh, what the natural energy. Mm -hmm. That's the best to get guide about the brain and conscious. The natural energy. Yes, exactly. That's so, why, you know, I'm part of Are you going to teach us how to tap into the natural energy? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. We, can, we can say unfold your innate ability from the brain and conscious. Right. So, how so much easier. I know you come from a computer background. How do you get into this? Well, exactly. I, I was a software engineer. Uh -huh. I become a consultant a few places in the uh, government of Malaysia, UK, and so on. Uh, while developing software for many uh, companies and countries, I need to manage. Uh, uh, engineers, 30, 40, 60 engineers for one year, two year, three years projects. Mm -hmm. So I come across uh, a question, how can I synchronize multiple brain and consciousness to us to saving the project mm -hmm. and on time? Right. So that's where I start to build a simple So it was drawn about by a question and when this question came about, uh, did you help answer the question yourself or did you get help from other people? Yeah, personally, I come about some techniques, some uh, tips, mm -hmm. which I trained those days, the engineers, where we were able to uh, produce better results. So you had no background in hypnotherapy, NLP, no, anything, no, no. anything to do with to any other existing yeah. training. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you started from scratch by just asking a simple question. Questions, yeah. And the question was, what can I do to integrate the minds of all these great people exactly. and to uh, increase productivity? Achievements. And what happened after that? Uh, for example, we have uh, on-time delivery, mm -hmm. saving project, uh, I mean delivery cost, and a better relation between multinationals, experts coming out from the world mm -hmm. to stay in Cyberjai, for example, to work for projects, years and so on. So, so I find very peace and, uh, you know, I feel uh, happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, learning this thing, uh, putting it into a system mm -hmm. and teaching it to people, it would have taken you a while to do it or I yeah, it's about uh, 27 years of uh, time frames what, from childhood, yeah. yeah, from childhood, yeah. where it started again back. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, what, what I mean is, like, you know, putting this program together, uh -huh. did you have to uh, uh, write the syllabus down and uh, how, how long is it? Seven years time. Seven years. Correct. So it's seven years of your own hard work. Exactly. And then the Intelligence Society of Malaysia was born. Exactly. So the thing is, you can come up with all these things, okay. but... How many people would believe you when you come to, in, in our country, okay. saying if you take a proposal up to a certain company, a corporate company, okay. or if you go see someone within the ministry and say, look, uh, this is what I have, okay. who studies what you've done and says, yeah, you know, this thing has got some meat in it, you know, we're going to try to do it. Who, who does all that? Yeah, initially, I had the same issue where uh, no one believed you. No customer, yeah, yeah. no clients. Six months we just introduced to governments, GLCs, corporate, and so on. And finally, someone, a few GLCs started, like PTPT and Telecom Malaysia, just went so on. Yeah. And so that's that, where that you, you use, use as a platform uh, yeah. to deliver. And even I wanted to see the results mm -hmm. from the corporate life world, you know. Right. So that's where I become like a, you know pilot and passenger together. Mm -hmm. But yeah. wasn't it scary, you know, making that move from uh, the uh, what do you call it, software engineering, to what you're doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know full well that there's so many motivators out there, people who do so many different types exactly. of brain and mind training. Yeah, exactly. The beauty part of our Intelligence of Malaysia is we are non-motivation and non-theoretical training institute. 
I always believe in intrinsic brain training, practically how to tap within few minutes and few seconds a person's uh, brain power, mm -hmm. conscious power, or unfolding the original uh, innate and uh, natural creativity. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's so, many ways of doing that, yeah? Uh, of, yeah, yeah or, or is there just one system of doing it? Um, along the way, uh, I've invented about 1,700 over techniques. Yeah, but, so, okay. Uh, this 1,700 technique comes because different people, different uh, category, yeah, or, child, right. primary, so right, yeah. there's different ways to work. So, okay, saying we're about the same age, okay, okay? okay? Now, if you want to train me or right. teach me something, okay. would you use the same the same technique you'd use on yourself? Is it based on age or is it based on... Sometimes it's based on the career, yeah. professional category, yeah. and goal setting, mm -hmm. vision of the company or particular departments, mm -hmm. the particular staff, what is their engagement, target for next, down the line of 12 months. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have the specific uh, personal group target, right? Mm -hmm. So based on that, slightly the techniques can work. Mm -hmm. It can change, yeah. Right, so the change. There, there are 1,700 ways that you've put together, mm -hmm. and these 1,700 ways are, are different, uh, different uh, between what, age yeah. and yeah. And so, so the techniques vary a lot. Uh, for these one thousand, few would be the same for yeah. everybody. Right. Well, you've got your your seven base. master. Yeah, yeah. The, the base technique. Yeah, like seven, seven, then you can move on. Exactly. So, uh, when you when you analyze a person, or so when someone comes to you for help, okay. How do you um, diagnose the person? Do you need to diagnose the person first? No, exactly. Yeah. We are talking about like, uh, what is your current requirements? Is yeah. it into entrepreneurship, right. or child, parental psychology, or are you schooling, or are you in a college to perform 4.0 CPA, the best one, or whatever? Mm -hmm. And we go for um, most uh, uh, outer world uh, achievements. Mm -hmm. From there, we know roughly that is what we have done. Outer world achievements. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah. then we put seven uh, secret rhythm as a techniques to train them. Yeah. So uh, when, when you start these techniques, how long does it take to... Training require about two days, Jared, two that, days. That's yeah. all you need? It's simple. It's simple. Uh, so the, after, after, after the two, two days, days, they practice seven minutes per day at home. Uh -huh. That's all. Oh, wow. This, this, this is, is now really, really, yeah. really, really very, very interesting. And uh, you know, um, with the, the company you have now, there are uh, quite a few people who work with you, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Uh, can you tell us about your company setup before we get into the brain and how it works? And maybe we'll teach people the Tiwali present is to give uh, <laughs> some tips, yeah. Some, some tips uh, as to how you can better yourself. I certainly need to do that, yeah. All right, thank you. Let me share something. So, yeah. tell us a little bit about your company. Isom, yeah? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Isom so, is it Isom or Isom? Isom, yeah. I am uh, Isom if Which you're English, American. Uh, Isom if you're American. Isom, Isom, Isom if you're Malaysian. Yeah. Yeah. Malaysian like yeah. Kipam and Kapam. You know, yesterday right. I came across that. Another acronym. Slight changes, uh -huh. yeah. So, so uh, what, yeah, with, with Isom, um, how many members do yeah. you have working with? Uh, prior to Isom, mm -hmm. seven years, I, I mean, incorporated a commercial company called The Seven Secret Rhythms. The Seven Secret Rhythms. rhythms mm -hmm. Where uh, I started to uh, apply and get results. So, six years time frame, we took a lot of results, 15,000 graduates from 10 other countries. And then uh, when we found ISOM, we have a good backup. Uh, corporate leaders uh, graduated, got impact, got results, mm -hmm. and few of them, about 20 of them in whole Malaysia, become a founding member mm -hmm. from Sabah, from Labu to Sarawak, you know, mm -hmm. to, from Perak to Johor Bahru. Mm -hmm. That's a bit of benefit. We have multi-race expert, multi-discipline experts, mm -hmm. and who, some of them are known our techniques, result oriented, so that's when make my life easier. Right. So we have the whole team come up. Okay, Elon, we, let, let's do it for c community. Mm -hmm. So the, a database of information is what you have because you have all these people with you. Exactly. After the training, after right. results, yes. Uh, and, uh, an office in Kiao, do you have an office in PJ? Kiao? Yes, in correct. PJ, how many people work at the office? About time? 10 people. They may not look a big, uh, huge uh, team right. physically. Right. So saying if you've got a team of um, someone who is your uh, personal assistant, uh, admin staff, or people who work within your office, the 10 people, do you do anything for, for them to help them with their productivity and their goals, achieve their goals? In uh, our target is initially all our staff, either freelance or uh, direct committee members or supporting uh, personnel for the community projects, we will train them first, let them experience personally. Do they have a difference? Do they have an improvement? Do they have a, uh, a new creativity unfold? Then they will go out with a feeling of experience rather than theoretical in a paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we does that. We share that. We, do yeah. that. we share and we ask the feedback. Um, tell the 
realistic. Do you get improvement? Do you have a difference? No, we improve our part. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, everyone wants to move up the ladder. Yeah, where exactly. They are. As you should, as me as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, knowing full well that you have people under you mm -hmm. who would one day want to move up, you, you work with them because of that. Have uh, they talked to you about their goals? See, uh, personally, with their goal, they sometimes uh, stop working quite long, mm -hmm. trying to have an entrepreneurship doing a business idea. Mm -hmm. So these are the new ideas where we can tap and help directly people who are going to work with us long term. And they want people who are going to meet the community, the public, the so-called uh, new potential students. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. So best two, they have the experience. Mm -hmm. And I found within one month, three months, six months, they have the new experience. When they go out, they tell the reality, yeah, I achieved this. Mm -hmm. of 10 years after being with ISO, mm -hmm. being with the, the service algorithm, yeah, I achieved this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, promoting what you're doing in KL and outside KL is the uh, work of your team. They, they actually go out and promote your, your work. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Most times, Jared, we are like, prefer. Mm -hmm. We do one school, the school will for another PPD. We do one PPD, another country, I mean, state will request us. Mm -hmm. We do one corporate, another corporate will refer, for example. So we have a good, uh, I mean, a kind in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So it's that to refer. Mm -hmm. We do have our own promotion, like online. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you uh, worked for a time in England. Can you tell us about uh, the UK? What, uh, you yeah, know? I was on face in the consultant, developing project mm -hmm. for few projects. How long were you there? Um, mostly one year. Right. Right, right. Less than one and year. And did you yeah. learn anything in the UK with regards to what you're doing now? Yeah, in England, I learned new technology to right. in integrate certain things like wines coming in and uh, the system should database without the staff key in the name, for example. Right. That was my project. But uh, on the uh, ISO, kind of a brain conscious, I used to do freelance training mm -hmm. in certain universities and colleges and corporate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the freelance training uh, made me uh, a person where I feel very happy and higher confidence. Wow, this knowledge you require in Europe, so why not be back to Malaysia mm -hmm. with the proper modules you know, mm -hmm. for our country? Right. Uh, uh, here's another question, and I, and I feel very uncomfortable if I have to ask it, but I'm asking this question based on uh, me being uh, an Indian Malaysian or Malaysian Indian. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one to use, so I always use both. And doing what you do, okay, maybe I'm being a trainer of some sort, going out there, looking for clients within the city, in the private sector, is it tough? Yeah, initially, yeah, initially, initially it because uh, the reason not because I'm Indian is tough, yeah. because you know, the because there's knowledge. There's a sort of mindset here, let's not run away from that, like, you know, if uh, someone would come up to you and say, I, I would come up to you and say, look, you know, I do uh, uh, training, yeah, yeah, training, yeah, training of yeah. this nature, and the first thing like, uh, okay, it's uh, Indian Malaysian, uh, does not know how to do this? And uh, don't, don't, uh, you know, some of us act like it doesn't exist, it does. Within the private sector, <laughs> things like this do exist, and how, how, how might do exist, but uh, most important,